Yo, what's up guys? It's Nash here coming back at you with a brand new video and I'm outside tonight because it's super nice and I like it. Today we're talking about the Shopify startup cost. How much money do you actually need to get started? And you might be surprised because it's not really that much. All right guys, so before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that nice looking subscribe button right below. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop the dopest content on the internet because it's all free and we're trying to get everybody on this channel to over $100 a day for free. So, you know, why would you not subscribe? Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and, uh, you know, check it out. All right, so today we're talking about the Shopify startup cost. How much does it actually cost to, you know, start up? And the reason that I love Shopify so much and uh, the drop shipping sort of business model so much is because it doesn't really take that much startup capital because you know you're not keeping any inventory you're not paying employees at least at the beginning really your only uh, you know budget or the only amount of money that you need is just for ads and you know a couple other things that we're going to talk about right now which number one is the Shopify uh, 14 day free trial now Notice I'm saying free trial because it is a free trial um, and you have it for 14 days and you should take full advantage of those 14 days and try to get profitable as fast as possible within these 14 days and not wait until you actually have to pay for it because after the 14 days, it's like $29, I believe, um, which still is not a whole lot. Like you can make that back in like, you know, three sales. Pretty easy. You can make that back in half a day. No problem. But, you know, I would rather you know, start getting my Shopify store profitable before I have to deal with this. So I'm not like, you know, cramming if I don't have the $29, just, you know, do it before. All right. Number two is a domain name. Okay. Now this is a non-negotiable. You definitely need to have it. It totally legitimizes your business. It makes you look, um, you know, professional. And if you have something like, you know, dogs are us dot my shopify.com, you don't look like a professional website and chances are you're probably not going to be able to make a sale because you don't look like you're pro, but luckily they're not that expensive. It's only like 12 to $15, um, usually around 12, just depending on where you get it. Uh, but yeah, so definitely get a domain name. Number three, this one's not necessarily mandatory, um, but it's apps. So most of the apps that I use are actually free. And the ones that I use that are paid, I only spend maybe like 25 to 30 bucks a month in apps. Um, <clears throat> and most of those are for like upsell apps that you don't really need when you're first starting out. Um, but most of the, the apps that I do use that are paid, they had a free trial. So I was able to you know, take advantage of the free trial before I actually had to pay for it. But in terms of apps, you're probably, let's just be really conservative. You could do it for free, but let's just say that you're gonna spend $10 in apps per month, which is you know not a whole lot, all right? And lastly, you're going to need, uh, this is the biggest part of it, you're going to need some sort of marketing budget, um, something that you can pay to, you know, get your ads out there. Unless you're super creative and you find some way, you know, free way to do it, you're going to have some, you're going to have to have some money to actually go market, uh, preferably on Instagram is the cheapest way. If you don't know Facebook ads, don't do Facebook ads, you're going to lose a ton of money and it's not good. Um, so how much do you ideally need to uh, have for your marketing budget? Well, in my opinion, you should at least have like $500 plus. Ideally, can you do it with less? Yeah, absolutely. You just have to be very specific and very precise with your research and picking a product, picking influencer pages and all that stuff. If you watch the videos um, that I have on my channel, you know, for free, then you 